What's up, YouTube? Hearts here. And I know what you guys are thinking right off the bat. Hearts, where's your sweater at, man? We can see your arms. Aren't you cold? You always have a sweater on. You're right. I do usually have a sweater on. But listen, it's the middle of summer. I got the heat on in the house. And I just got out the shower. Not to mention, I'm a little bit heated about our topic today. And as you can tell from the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about ranked play. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about ranked play in team-based games. Like uh, Valorant or Call of Duty, right? Valorant and Call of Duty, they kind of differ a bit because I think Valorant has a little bit better of a ranking system than Call of Duty. And I'll distinguish the differences later in the video, but just know this, is, this could pretty much apply to all team-based games. I have to prepare you. You're not going to like what I have to say, especially if you enjoy playing with your friends on ranked play. So listen, I'm prepared for you guys to yell at me. You guys need to be prepared to yell at me. That's all I'm going to say about it. Here's my thoughts. Ranked in team-based games should be solo queue only. I know. Somebody had to say it. I'll give you guys a second to yell at me while I hit the vape. Go ahead. Feel free. Look, I hear you. But the thing is, if you play ranked with your friends, you're directly contributing to this problem. Ranked play is not competitive. It's simply not. At least it's not as competitive as it should be. If you're playing with your friends and you achieve a higher rank, I'm considering that a fake rank. Straight up. Straight up. It's fake. And I'll tell you why. Because you are at an advantage. And there should not be advantages in ranked game modes. You understand? We're all at a level playing field. Or at least we should be. And if we all solo queued, we would have a better chance of reaching that level playing field. Right? But the problem is, for people that solo queue, you end up in a game with people that either don't have a mic, or they have a mic and don't turn it on. Or, you can go back and look at one of my other videos, and see that I have just have people that are straight up team killing me and trolling. You don't deal with that when you're queuing with your friends. Which is why a lot of people don't solo queue. They just don't. I talk to a lot of people. They hate solo queuing for this exact reason. Because you get teammates that are just detrimental. They're just detrimental. And that's a problem. Because people that solo queue are at a disadvantage. To explain it to pl to explain it further, right? Let me let me just break it down for you. If you queue in a party of two, three, or four in Call of Duty, you're able to do that. Odds are you've played with those friends before. So not only are you guys in a Discord call or some some kind of party chat, right? My friends use Discord, I use Discord. And 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 don't get me wrong, I play ranks with my friends too. Okay, it's, it's a great time. Everyone enjoys it. We have a good time. We love playing ranked. But the problem is, it's just not competitive. It's not. Because when you're queuing with your friends, you've either, you, you've played with them before, so you have this unspoken chemistry, right? You, you guys know how to play off each other. You, you guys know each other's strats, the opening break-offs. You, 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 know, you guys know what your teammates do. That's that unspoken chemistry I'm talking about. Another thing is you guys are in your Discord call, right? Or you're in your party chat. You guys have comms. You're able to talk and and communicate with each other. You guys might sound like a straight up CDL team, straight from the Call of Duty League, right? Meanwhile, you're playing against four people that just queued into a random match, hoping that people on their team have a mic. With So you're playing against a team that that has no comms, they have no unspoken chemistry, no strats, right? So you end up playing a team-based game where your team has all the teamwork in the world 
and you're playing against a team that has no teamwork because they're not working together. And I understand the argument. You can say, well, it's a team-based game. Maybe they should work as a team. Yeah, maybe they should. But the problem is you don't always find that when solo queuing. You might get one game out of ten when, when you're solo queuing where you have teammates that are, that are communicating back and uh, y'all are working together as a team to <laughs> achieve the goal of winning, right? But the other nine times out of ten, you don't. You just have teammates that don't have a mic. They they they're not interested in working together, and they're just they're just playing for their own stats so they can be at the end of the game and be like, well, I'm not the one that costed, right? So to break it down further, I believe that ranked play is actually designed to assess your individual skill. Is it not? You're playing for your own rank. You know, you're playing to rank up. That, that's the point. You're playing for your own individual rank. Even if you play as a team, you all could have different ranks. Some of you might get ranked up faster than others. Some of you might rank up slower than others. But at the end of the day, you're still winning matches. And the reason behind that is because you have the advantage. And in ranked play, there should not be an advantage like that. Imagine this. A world where everyone solo queues. Yes, it might not be as fun. So I don't actually believe the developers would ever just make it solo queue only. Let me just go ahead and tell you that. I, I don't think that would ever happen. But it would, in my opinion, make the ranks a bit more true. Those people that play, the ones that have mics, the ones that communicate, they usually only play in a party. Because they want other people that do the same. They love winning. That's the point. They want to win. People want to win. That's why they play. They play ranked to win. So they get their friends together and they're like, hey, we're not going to lose the game because we play this game all the time together and we have our strats. We know how to win the game. It's just not competitive, though. That's, that's just what it comes down to. It's not competitive. So if everybody solo queued instead, those people would then be forced to play by themselves with other people that are forced to play by themselves. So maybe more people would actually want to work together as a team. And that takes away the disadvantages for people that, that, that don't have anyone to play with. I find myself solo queuing a lot. So I understand the struggles behind it. I also play with my friends a lot, so I know how fun it is. But at the end of the day, it's not competitive. I'm sorry, but someone had to say it. Now, in addition to ranked being solo queue only, right, I think that would solve most of the problems. As someone that solo queues, nothing is more infuriating than doing really well and still losing points every match. So there needs to be some type of, uh, some type of hidden MMR, right? And I know there is in COD. People say, well, there's this hidden MMR, right? I'm not buying it. Right. If if there if it is there, it's so slight that it really doesn't do anything. Point for example, Valorant. I think Valorant hits ranked right on the head. Like I think they do it correctly. When you queue as a five man, a full team, I think you're only playing against people that are in a five man. Right. You can't even queue with four people. It won't let you because they know how much advantage you are. Like they know that queuing with four people. And playing against a team that's that's not that's not a full team. They know they have such an advantage over them. They won't even let you do it. That's why the max you can queue with is three. So the fact that you can only queue with three, where solo queue players could still be added into the game. That's important. It's you're still at a bit of an advantage, but it's just not as it's not as big. And not to mention, the hidden MMR in that game actually works if, or if you're on the losing team and if you get match mvp you were doing work you don't deserve to lose a whole lot of sr right so you don't lose as much you get the little star next to your name and it's like and it says performance bonus so you don't lose that much you're still going to lose some because you didn't win the game but you don't lose as much so you're not as penalized for solo queuing whereas in cod it doesn't matter doesn't matter you could have done the best in the game you're still losing you know you're losing just as much as you would win if you won 
I think a lot of that has to do with the leveling system. I'm not even going to speak on the leveling system. I think Call of Duty ranked is completely fake. I think that if you want a high rank, you just have to keep playing. You have to play in a full party. If you don't play in a full party, you're never going to reach it. You're just not going to reach it. Your level is going to get too high. You're not going to be getting enough per win. And as someone that solo queues, you're not going to be able to win enough times in a row for it to really even matter. And Valorant's a little bit different. I was able to solo queue in Valorant. You know, I, I just keep moving up ranks. I could see the progression steady going up rather than just getting on and it being the exact same from where I started. You know what I mean? That's just because of the performance bonuses that you get. Yeah, so Call of Duty ha ranked has a lot of problems. It's it's more than just queuing as a party. It's it's the whole it's the whole winning and losing system. How much you lose for how much you gain, depending on whatever level you are. That it has a lot of problems. I think Valorant does it right. I actually don't have any complaints on that one. And I think that if Call of Duty were to do something similar, then it wouldn't necessarily need to be solo queue only. You shouldn't be able to queue in a party more than two, unless you're in a full team of four, which then it should be a completely separate, like either a completely separate ranking system like they had in Black Ops 2, if you queued in a full party, it would rank the full party as a team, and that team would have this certain rank, right? Rather than an individual rank. It's completely different. I don't know how many of you remember that, but if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. As at, Whereas today, if you queue in a full party of four, you could be playing against four solo queuers, you know? That's not competitive. There's nothing competitive about that. So the rank that you're getting is, is straight up fake. But in Valorant... They did it right. I think that's the only way to make it more competitive. The problem right now, it's just not competitive. It's just not, I don't, I don't find any fun in playing by myself on Call of Duty ranked. I can queue Valorant ranked all day long and, and, and feel at least a little bit better about it. And that's weird because I'm actually good at Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm not great at Valorant, but I'm actually good at Call of Duty. So that's, that's just where I, that's just my thoughts on it. You guys are mad at me? Uh... You know, just be mad. If you think my argument is invalid, leave a comment. Let me know why. Because I could be totally off here. I could just be totally off here. But as someone that's played competitively for several years, I think I'm right on the money here. Or if you guys agree, leave a comment and give me your thoughts because... At the end of the day, I just want to see rank get better. I want to, I want, I want competitive matches. I want to feel like if I win, I'm getting rewarded, you know. And if I lose, but I did really good on my team, I don't want to be punished to the point of where I have to win two games to even make up for the one I just lost. Because that's how I feel right now playing Call of Duty ranked. I'll get on and uh, I'll start at a certain rank, and at that, at the end of the night, even though I won more than I lost. I'll still be at that same rank, or I'll only be like plus 20, which makes me feel like I just wasted my entire night. Yeah, so that's pretty much my whole thoughts on the subject. If you disagree with me, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your argument on how to make rank better, or if you think ranked is fine how it is, you know, tell me why it's fine. If you guys like the video, leave a like on it. Uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button don't hit the subscribe button you probably won't see the next one that's just how it is that's how YouTube works man you gotta subscribe if you wanna see them you can subscribe on the little button either on that side or 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 this side down there you know where it's at you've seen it before or you can wait for the out you can wait for the outro you'll hear it coming pour me up now pour it up now pour it up now pour it up I got a little emblem right in the middle of the screen with an H on it click on that subscribe we'll see the next video coming out soon peace Pour me up, and I pour it up, and I pour it up, and I pour it up. Cause I would tell these motherfuckers no cap, but I wore it once. It had a gown with it. My bass boom, my surround kick, and no downshifting. Bitch, pour me a cold drink. I'm trying to celebrate. Living the fast lane, sipping on champagne.